All right, all right. This is a video that I didn't want to have to make, but well, there's no getting around it. Let's talk about tariffs. Okay, what you're seeing here is the last batch of the affordable DIY boxes, right? Because they're, these use like a lot of these Chinese parts in there, uh, everything has gone up. Like for example, these, these used to be $4 each. So that was $8. Now that's going to be $16. No, that's going to be more like $25 because it's not a hundred percent tariff. It's like 150 and it's actually more because what these guys are doing is like, we can ship this stuff to you and then you pay the tariff. You're right. Like when it arrives on port, he goes, but what happens? happens is that a lot of these packages like the ports are going to be overwhelmed and so what happens is that if you don't prepay the the taxes the tariffs then your package with uh eight dollar uh, uh bus bars or uh terminals is going to sit in the customs office forever until they figure out who you are and then they're going to send you a bill and then you're going to have to pay for it and then they right so now you're adding a bunch of roadblocks to this being delivered so in order to get away from that what they are saying is like just prepay the tariffs and you know like dhl will just charge you and then they'll just submit that to the customs office or whatever and then but because they don't know where the tariffs are gonna be by the time they ship because they've been they're on they're off you know it's like it was a hundred percent it was 125 percent 140 percent now it's 150 percent you know it's like because this is so volatile what uh dhl is doing is that they're charging us 175 percent on this stuff just in case just so they can cover it because they don't know like by the time they ship it to you it's gonna be like a week or so like who knows where it's gonna be right? this is how terrible this stuff is right now right and so 175 percent. so let's say i order a hundred dollars worth of these terminals or pcbs or handles or whatever they add another 175 dollars. so now you're looking at 275 dollars plus shipping plus all this other stuff right so now this box you know if i was able to sell it for five six hundred dollars or whatever now i can it's gonna be more like nine hundred dollars if i want to make money right and so this is what's happening with a lot of the stuff and we luckily we don't have a lot of the stuff that we order from china some of our lithium iron phosphate batteries the we started selling about eight months ago those are coming from china so those we're not going to order anymore we're going to just see how that goes if the tariffs go away we don't know if they're going to stay if they're going to stay it's going to be nobody's going to want to pay you know the the cells you know like the 280s and the 314s were somewhere around you know 80 dollars or something you know 82 dollars deliver here in the u.s now you're talking about 200 dollars for those cells right and are you guys gonna pay that I, we don't know so in order for me to like not stock up and get ten thousand dollars worth of batteries you know and then just put them in the shelf and then see if you guys buy it or not you know you might not maybe the tariffs go away now i have you know batteries that i paid two hundred dollars for and i can't sell and now they're worth eighty dollars again you know? so i'm gonna lose a bunch of money so in order for me to protect myself and not lose a bunch of money i'm just not gonna order a bunch of the stuff now luckily for us like an example for this box right here uh this is not 100 percent in china like this only parts right like these parts are made in china these are made in china those are made in china this and then the bms but like all the metal for example that's all made here in the state so then that doesn't suffer a tariff right so it's only a portion of a, a, a percentage of this box that is going to be tariff and is going to go up if i think we're going to be able to maybe compete with these because the chinese boxes are in, the entire thing is going to be tariff right like if if this box costs 300 500 dollars or something uh the whole 400 500 whatever the the, the cost is that's going to be tax and so now it's going to be let's say it's a uh, 400 dollars. now it's going to be 400 dollars. so that's 800 plus another 200 so that's a thousand dollars so if I can sell these for $900 and make money, the Chinese equivalent of this will be $1,200, $1,300, right? For me to be able to make money because it's going to cost me $1,000 for the box. And then, you know, if I want to make some money because I don't want to do this for free, right? Uh, then that, I think maybe these will keep selling them even at the, you know, hyperinflated prices that these tariffs are making us do. So that's that. Now, the good thing with us is that we have a lot of these batteries that are not taxed because these are... These are overstock. These are stuff that is secured here locally in the United States, right? So those stuff is not tax. All these EV modules that we have here, these are coming from cars that are already in the US and we locally, you know, pick them up and, you know, transport them. And then, so th those are tax free. These ones right here, you know, the, these ones right here, uh, those, uh, you know, all of these batteries that we have in this warehouse here are not gonna be hit with tariffs 
because they're already in the United States. So that's the good news. The other bad news is that even though these are not hit with a tax, with a tariff, I think we're going to see a high, higher demand for these because all of a sudden these, these batteries that were not as enticing, they weren't as attractive because you could get cheap Chinese batteries. Now there's going to be more interest in these all of a sudden. And so with more interest, with more demand, then comes higher prices, right? So no matter how you look at it, I think we're going to see price of batteries and battery products going up instead of down for the time being. Who knows? Until the tariffs, until the tariffs go away. You know, we don't know with this president, like he's going all over the place. So hopefully the tariffs don't stick around forever. And then he gets what he needs from China and then they go down and then we can go back to having affordable battery products. But we don't know until for right now, the very next batch that I have to order, I have to pay taxes. So which means I have to bump up the prices, unfortunately. So again, there's not much we could do here other than look for ways to eliminate some of these products and some of these costs from some of these products. Right. But it's it's going to be tough. It's prices are going to go up no matter how you slice it. And that's those are that's not good news. That's not what I want to make a video about. But if you see our products on our website and you see that the prices have gone up, this is the reason why. Uh, and hopefully it's just temporary. We'll have to, just have to see. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully the next video will have better news than this. Bye.